I'm Glenn Woods. And I'm Keith Herbrand. And we are known as the Pottery right. Boys right. here in Palm Harbor, Florida. And our specialty is we work with porcelain and we finish our pieces with a glaze called a crystalline glaze. And we throw everything on the potter's wheel. All handmade, all handmade. Kind of. yeah, right. I've been making pottery since 1974, yeah. but didn't actually do this full time until 2001. Mm. I had a really bad experience at my job in Chicago and I uh, came home from work and I said, hey Keith, how would you like to be full time potters? We bought this home and our studio in 2001 and came down to Florida and became full-time full -time potters. We started out very functional where we make uh, all kinds of very usable objects and uh, now we're, we still do functional but we're morphing into more of a one-of-a-kind decorative uh, type of pots. Yeah, so we um, take little tidbits of influence from nature so you'll find uh, our carving usually looks like flower top bases or we um, use shells and shells. leaves. We just started taking actual pieces from nature, like branches and things that we find out in the yard that we just feel are beautiful uh, in and of their own, um, and just kind of mount that on top of the piece. Yep. And the glaze that we use is kind of organic anyways. We actually grow a crystal formation in the glaze, so it kind of brings it all together. I think. A traditional glaze, whether it's even wood fire or salt, glaze or whatever you you fire it to a, a peak temperature and there are maybe things that you do like with salt fire you throw salt into the kiln yeah. when it's really hot and it vaporizes and it coats the kiln with this beautiful surface or the wood fire the ash falls down on the piece and it and and creates these beautiful the flashings and um, colors that happen but with crystalline as the piece is it's, it's fired to the peak temperature, the glaze thoroughly melts. And as it's cooling, uh, these crystals start to form. And if you were to just let it cool naturally, the, the piece would have maybe small little flashes of crystalline structure, but nothing really huge. So between the temperatures of 2000 and 1800, what we do is we spend about eight hours of cooling time, uh, which is dedicated to making that crystal larger and more interesting. So as it's growing within that eight hour period of growing will change a temperature and as you change the temperature something happens to the crystal and usually what results is a, a growth ring or a halo and if you look at some of the crystals you can see the the subtle change of the crystal and it creates these little growth rings almost like the growth rings you would see in a tree. Every artist that uh, uses a crystalline glaze I mean they will change the firing schedule to achieve the result that they like. Yeah. Um, and so everybody has a slight different approach and that approach really is what sets their work apart from other people who use the same type of glaze. When we can do something for, uh, create a piece, um, because we don't have a lot of money as artists, so we can't necessarily give to all the great charities or events or uh, In the way of cash. issues that we would like to give. So we can either give our time or we can give our talent. And so I think for us or for me as an artist, when we can do something for Martini and Matisse, we feel good about that. Yeah. You know, you know, through the years we have met some people that have benefited from the free clinic. Uh, and so I think it's a very necessary thing with uh, the issues that we're facing with COVID. So it's an important event and I would certainly uh, recommend being part of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. yeah, I wish we could be there. Yeah, <laughs> but we will be there in spirit. <laughs>